I literally still feel like I'm the kid at drama school hoping to get a role. That's how I operate. That's what I come from. And whether that's to do with just my own vulnerability and insecurity, but I always feel like I'm so fortunate and lucky to have the job. Jane Campion came and saw me when I was 14 doing, strangely enough, Sweet Bird of Youth on stage. I was playing princess. I did not know what I was doing at that age. I had no idea what any of it meant, but I committed because that's what I do. But Jane saw me and she went, I want her in my student film. She brought me Portrait of a Lady. But we built a friendship during all of that and have had a friendship ever since. And I love her. I love saying that. I'm married to a really, really generous, kind, strong male. When he works Big Little Lies, he was disturbed. And he says that when he hears me scream or cry from a certain place in my soul, it's almost like it goes straight into him and he has a visceral reaction immediately. His brain and his heart doesn't discern between acting and real life. It throws him. Well, Halloween's not a big thing in Australia. It's becoming bigger, but so I didn't really grow up with it. My first memory of Halloween was because I was born in the States. I remember wearing a ghost, a sheet that my mum made with the eyes cut out. And I just remember looking through the eyes of the sheet and seeing candy as we held our hands out. That's my first memory of Halloween, wearing a sheet. <laughs> but I got candy. I have so many different New Year's Eves. The greatest one was 1999, where we were on Sydney Harbour on a boat. We were making Moulin Rouge. So we had Baz, had sort of designed the whole party. It felt like we'd invited all of Sydney. And it was, it went off. It's one of the most legendary parties, if I say so myself. I remember dancing in some little tiny Dolce dress. I was very much into the role of Moulin Rouge at the time with a snake. That's all I'm going to say. No, I was shimmying with a snake. That's my memory. <laughs> and there's photos to prove it. A Barbie. And that was to the chagrin of my mother because obviously she was like, Barbies are not something she wanted me to have because they have the perfect form. The thing that every feminist was like, no little girl should be playing with a Barbie. But I just wanted a Barbie. It was like, I just want a Barbie because everyone else has a Barbie. So then my mum went, okay, after a situation where I took a Barbie from the store and then my mum made me take it back and then she was like, I'll buy my daughter a Barbie. But my grandmother was the most beautiful seamstress and my mother is a beautiful seamstress. So they made me the most beautiful Barbie clothes you've ever seen in your life. I mean, gorgeous. Embroidered and all little tiny, tiny buttons down the back. I mean, we're talking exquisite work, which is where my love of fashion started. I don't think we really had red carpets when Dead Calm came out. I remember going to the Academy Awards with Tom. I can't remember. what I think it was a very, very short Valentino dress. I didn't realise that you don't wear very, very short to the Academy Awards at that stage. It was black velvet. It was pretty great. I've still got it. I just remember being sort of overcome by all of that. But that was fun. What was your first pet's name? Gregory. And what was the street you grew up on? William Edward. Gregory William Edward is your porno name? Yeah. <laughs> Hot. <laughs>